Okay. You might have to pop some popcorn for this. It's a long movie. Here we go again. It's on live? It's on. So we're now doing Wally's 2? Wally? Welcome to Wally's Repair Shop. Wally's Repair Shop 2. Yeah. With Wally and Jerry, we're going to replace brake shoes. Jerry does all the work. I just get to sit back and take the pictures. Yeah, take the pictures. <laughs> So what we have here is some brake shoes. This little thing here, you can see it. This little thing here, it's supposed to uh, scratch up against the disc and make a squealing sound or a grinding sound whenever uh, it's time to replace the shoes. Walter says that he's been driving down the road and he says he thinks he hears them. We won't know for sure until we get the, the tire off and look. Put, push it on the parking brake. I'll use it as a chalk. Uh, concrete. I don't like rolling in concrete even if it's clean. So this is uh This isn't exactly where it's going to go, but I'm going to go here somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to get the jacks, the jack stands in the back. So normally, you don't want to trust a car when it's up on a jack. You know, that pretty much wrecks the car. Do this right up hurting myself. Gotta look up under there, find a spot and get that checks in. Okay, so I'm looking up under the car here, right? And so you can see here's Here's up underneath the car. So this spot right here, this thing, that's the axle. And there's Walter, our, our camera operator, videographer, extraordinaire. There's no, there's no get rich quick scheme, Walter. Not for you anyway. <laughs> You're going to be poor all your life. So. on the frame here, right? You can see it's sitting on there, so the, the rest of the car is resting on that spot. This is, I think, is a good spot, the main frame. And the tire here, the tire's up off the ground. So, uh, the next part is see if I can get the uh, lug nuts off. I just realized it would have been a lot smarter to loosen those lug nuts while this was still on on the uh, concrete, see, because what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to get those lug nuts off, the tires going to spin. Oh, I see I've got some help here. Look at this, oh, oh, oh I've got some help. Yeah, yeah, you can't, you can't really fix a car right unless you have the right tools. And Ginger here makes a real good tool for something, don't you, Ginger? You don't be a good girl. Lug nut wrench behind the seat on this side, yeah. 
That's it? No. Oh. Don't you have that other kind here? That's it. Do you have that other kind here? Yes. He did buy the right kind. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Oh. Back off. <laughs> I'm running. Count Dracula here. Okay, well, I'm going to have to let it down because, see, this is, this is the reason that you want to start loosening these things up while the tire is partially sitting on the on the on the ground because see you can't you can't get a you can't get anything to resist. I mean you could try this way but every time you push down on it, you know it pushes against your hand and there's no way you have enough force to do it. I guess that's a good lesson to show everybody why you uh why you do things with your way. Anyways, like I say, loosen it before you uh, sit it on, get it up there off the ground. Find the right size. I think I had the right size. Yeah, that was it. Okay, if you pull this way, right, you're sort of working against yourself, right? It's easier to let gravity do the work, right? Just you, you sort of rest your body on this side. This, this takes them off. Sort of rest your body on this side, but you got to be careful. If that slips off, your hand will go down there and break. So you have to do it with control, right? If you have to pull up on this, extend your arm all the way out and lean backwards like that. Don't do this with it, right? You'll end up uh, putting less force on it and, and using a, your muscles here. Unless you're going to be Arnold Schwarzenegger, right? Lean this way. Keep your, your arm straight and sort of lean back while uh, rest, putting you're resting your hand on this, okay? That's the proper way to do it without, you, you won't tire yourself out so badly in uh, that way. Okay, so I got that one loose. Well, I need to loosen them. Okay, that one's loose. And, uh, and if you're the, the best way to do this is to get someone else to do it. Now, if you're if you're a petite little woman and you try doing this, chances are you're going to have to find someone to get someone else to do it. So, so I want to get the tire up off the ground. Okay, but that's that's the way to do it. Sometimes I'm on this call. Okay, there we go.